guys today I wanted to show you a super quick build that Corey and I put together one night we made a noodle board or a stovetop cover for our stove and these are super trendy right now and they are Ow. all over Pinterest yeah Aaron is helping me do my voiceover today hi <laughs> So the first thing we did was just take a one by two and cut miter cuts in it to make a frame for our noodle board. We do not have a flat top stove so we need it to raise up our board. So we cut our one by twos so our board would be raised two inches and we cut the miter cuts on with the one inch side facing up if that makes sense. <laughs> After we cut down the 1x2 to match the dimensions of our stove, we took a 1x6 and cut that down. I had a 1x6x8 board and I only needed to use one of those boards and it cut down perfectly for our size stove top. Me too. Is that it? Do we just use those three pieces? Um, what's up with that front little gap right there? That's the front. Do we cut these down? We have one. Where is one? I have one what? Yeah, I mean, I just want to, like, place this here. You mean, like, and put it here? Now it's like if we cut these sides off. Make uh, it fall. What happens then? What's the measurement wise, you know? Like? Then it's an inch shorter on the stove. So then it will sit an inch in back. what seam then, you know? Like, yeah. Do we start seeing burners then, or is it just. Mm -hmm. If it's nothing, then. We took the whole thing up to our stovetop to see what we would see, and we would see burners. So we ended up just taking an extra piece of 1x2 and sticking it in the front. And that ended up working out perfectly to fill out the rest of our noodle board. After we sanded all of our panel boards so that they were even, we went ahead and glued everything together with wood glue. The last step was just to nail it all together with our nail gun. So we just went right across of that one by two and nailed straight into it. So it would attach to the boards that will eventually be the top of our noodle board. And that was it. We had it all constructed together. We put it on our table saw. Corey said he was gonna take it and use it as a table saw cover, but nope, it was ours. <laughs> ours for our stove. So we just sanded it so it was nice and smooth and everything lined up and we were good to go. That was it.
Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Butter. Oh, did you buy that from Ikea? Oh, banana cake! Dude! It's like butter! We did that really well! It's like I knew what I was doing. It's You're like, in charge. I know what I'm talking about. I just absorbed all the sawdust. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good! You'll notice inlaid wood. Beautiful, minor mitered edges. That was my idea. Uh-uh. It wasn't. It's all blurry. Tap it. The front of our stove was a little too small to add a frame that went all the way around, so we just decided not to have any frame piece in the front of it at all. Uh, we also didn't know if we were going to put handles on it or not, but I think we decided that we're just going to just leave it as it is. <laughs> yeah, and it's perfect. It fits there like it was made to, because it was. <laughs> We do plan on staining it or painting it. We just have to figure out what we want to put on it first. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, you can find more from us here. And make sure you like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Oh, oh, now you're quiet. Now you have nothing to say? <laughs> say bye, Erin. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. -bye. <laughs> bye.